Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, good night. Depending on your location and at what time you're watching this message. Uh, this is not our regular message as a pastor or as an evangelist or as a prophet of God or as a messenger of the gospel. No, this is also not um, our, our regular message also um, like relationship matters which we often handle. No, this is not the kind of message that I am presenting today. Now, the question is, what kind of message do I have for us today? My dear friends, my message today is understanding the methodology or the pathology of scammers and ways through which we can stay clear or navigate away from it in order not to get scammed. Of course, the word scammer is no longer a new word today in the society, especially here in Nigeria or on social media. It has become a daily, if not a minute-to-minute -minute kind of things. I can tell you for sure or for free that at every single minute, at every single minute, people are getting scammed in the social media. And the ways and the pattern or the methods of these scammers are not hidden. It is very simple. It is the same method. Many of them are not as educated as you are. Some of them are not as intelligent, I repeat, as smart as you are. So it will be very unfortunate to allow a scammer to outsmart you. Now, I'll be telling you three things uh, with which a scammers lures their victim towards um, their net or their hook. Number one is greedy. Number one is greed. You see, my dear friends, greed is a very serious thing. It's a very serious sickness. And many people don't know. Greed is one of the reasons why, why a brother would do business with a brother. And they had actually agreed that in the end, this is how they are going to share the proceed made from the business. Before you know it, one wants to cheat the other. Greed. Greed is the reason why the world seems to be somehow the way it is so filled with doom and chaos and anarchy. So what does a scammer do? They prey on your greediness like they throw their net open or their hook open, expecting you to fall a victim to their net or to their hook so that they can take you and make you cry heavily. Greed. Whatever you do in social media, no matter the feud, be it Instagram, be it, no matter any part of it, no matter what you do in social media, please be careful of every greedy offer. Be careful of every greedy offer. The first method and foremost of scammers is greed. They use greed to lure you to their net or to their hook. Number two, ignorance. You see, my dear friends, the Bible says that my people perish for lack of knowledge. The knowledge being talked about here is not just a circular knowledge like going to the school to go and know how the meaning of uh, agriculture, the meaning of uh, maybe biology, the meaning or the definition, the correct definition of economics. No. The knowledge the Bible seems to be talking about here is wisdom kind of knowledge. My people, in other words, my people perish for not knowing how to apply their knowledge right for not knowing when to apply their knowledge, how to apply it right. At every time a scammer wants to scam people, 
he looks for the good level ones. Although he makes his threat a general one, but he knows that the smart ones, the ones who knows what he know, will not fall a victim. So he keeps on looking for those who do not know what he knows. It could be using someone, for example, for those of you who don't know, many people are impersonating me already on Facebook. It didn't start today. It has started many years ago. But now I think it is becoming more and more rapid. Recently, I came across uh, a lot of reports has come to me that many people have used my name, my pictures to open Facebook account and are giving friend requests to people. And some persons thought I am the one. Now that reminds me, please note today, I don't send friend requests to anybody. Please note, I don't send friend requests. Even if I don't, it does not, I don't do it anymore. So as you are watching this message today, know that I don't send friend requests to people anymore. Now, number two, note that I don't chat anybody first, whether on WhatsApp, whether on Facebook, whether on YouTube, whether anywhere, on any social media platform, I don't chat people first. So what happens? I respond to people's chats, but I don't chat them. Sometimes my boys even responds not me so be careful anyone chatting you telling you i am the one i am not the one anyone sending you friend requests please don't accept i am not the one i don't send friend requests to people that is number that's all so if you have understood this that, that's very okay now number last thing apart from ignorance that a scammer does now, what is this last thing that a scammer does? A scammer makes, we've talked about greed, we've talked about ignorance. A scammer makes use of links. A scammer makes use of links. When it appears like it is not going fine with him, when it appears like all odds seems to be against him, like he has thrown the net and nothing is falling into it, the net has, seems not to be getting anyone. He goes on to creating links. They will create links, write beautiful messages, tell you click on this link. That is why for those of you who love women so much, you will see so many Facebook accounts which has been hacked. They will create links asking you probably uh, a kind of sexual kind of links. They ask you, they tell you, uh, click on this to to uh, uh, subscribe and to be getting free uh, um, romantic or free nude pictures or free nude or free sexual uh, sex videos. And some of you will fall victim because some of you can't be trusted with anything inside pants. Very, very bad anyway. But understand the point I'm trying to raise. Links. So be careful. Anytime you see a link from someone you do not know, someone you don't trust, or someone, even if you trust the person, still be careful. You can, you, if you have the person's phone number, you can chat the person, maybe on WhatsApp or call the person to be sure the person is the one that you are speaking with. If not so, you will fall a victim and will keep falling victims to scammers.